Good day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is about the Helicontex Naftal pouch. So here is the Helicontex Naftal pouch. It is 100% uh, nylon, I think they said it is. So look, what's on the back? Naftal pouch, 100% nylon, designed in Poland and crafted in Vietnam. Yeah, it's from the Cordora brand fabric. So let's show you this. Start from the front, we have a fair size velcro or your hook and loop panel on the front so it's big enough for the flap to come down and you've got room there for one of your morale patches we've got a little pull to open and clo close that and it is a loop so you would be able to put a carabiner through there if you want to if you hang something light off if you want i wouldn't recommend it but it's bar tacked at the top, double treble stitch down at the bottom. So it's gonna be strong enough to take a fairly decent weight. Nothing crazy weight, but a decent weight. All the stitching I've locked over this and I've got a second one also and all the stitching's just really good. Oh, I just found, oh that's just really finished it off. The first part of this we have, like I said, the morale patch, the Velcro, Velcro and the Velcro uh, flap over the front to protect what you're putting inside. We've got a small loop added in there. So you can want to hang your keys off there or anything. I've got the emergency whistle. And the pocket is plenty, plenty big enough. I actually got it for my little EPIRB, my tracker, and I'll just drop in there with ease and it's probably another inch between the top of that and the top of the pouch, it comes from about here. And that shows you the, the depth of the pouch I can go to. On the inside we have the elastic here and we've got two, it's three different size points in there, I don't know if you can see. We've got a large one, then it gets smaller, and then one down to about a pen size. I sound like a tree went down. But like I said, we've got the elastic in there to hold like a pen going up. So let's put that back in there. And I can still come out the side. I'll just tuck it straight in. There's enough room in there, let's say, to carry the EPIRB, the tracker, and spare batteries, and some cables. And that was the main reason I actually got this pouch, was for the, the tracker, so I can put it on my pack, and I'll show you that in a moment. On the back, now it's a strange setup here. We've got some Velcro straps coming across. There's three of those. So that can allow you to put it in different places and I'm actually using these for it to go on my pack at the moment. So you can use that to put your belt through instead of taking your belt off, just tuck that over. Yeah, through your uh, belt and just wrap these down and back over and that can go on your back or on your side or on your front. We've got the normal molly as well. You can see coming across here. There's only really two you can use because the third one is for the molly strap itself. And that's a fixing system. 
where you get some of the Velcro, some of the buckle that just goes down and tucks back underneath the uh, molly strap. But that's, let's say it starts here, it comes down, around, then back up about an inch past where it started. And it's got lots of plastic strap in there. Stiff, so that's not really going to come out easy at all. But with a molly, that comes through there. Then that, say that was your molly on your pack, I'll go over that one. And under. And so you can see that just fixes back on itself underneath the third webbing, which you can see is only stitched just wide enough for the stiffener to go in. That goes back on itself. That's not going to come out. You're going to have to give it some force to even get that to come out. I think you'll end up ripping the webbing before that would come out. So that's the back of it. And the zippers are YKK zippers. And they're the ones with the dust guard on it. And that would also help prevent any water. I wouldn't stop it 100%, so it's not 100% waterproof, but it'd be water resistant. So I'll stop the water getting to your electronics on the inside. And as you can see, they work really, really nice. Yeah, that, that looks real nice zip. Your pulleys are your paracord and it looks like a sh uh, shrink wrap. A little bit actually thicker, a thicker version of it. So you've got something there to grab even with a pair of gloves on. I'll pretend I've got gloves on and I don't have access to fingers. So just grabbing it up. It's nice and easy. On both sides again, we've got two little pulley loops. And what I believe they're for, is what I'll say they're for, is to give you ease of pulling your zip up. So I know with some zips you do this and it, they, they get stuck and you have to keep pulling down. I think these have been put on just to make it a lot easier for opening and closing your pack with using your zip. Again there, like I said, the loops. So you could fit a small carabiner through them if you want to. So if you want to use whistle on the outside, you could fit your carabiner through there or the cord or the whistle and bring it back through on itself. So you've got quite a few options with this. And like I said, this one, I've got the, um, the tracker in the front, the, the spot. And in the back here, this is my Galaxy Note was it? What did you call it? Uh, anyway, it's the Galaxy Note 9, I think it is. And that fits in there. I'd say snug, because it, it fits just under the zip. It's as if it was made to measure sort of thing. And that's just got a small protector on it. Nothing big or fancy. Let's take the paperwork out. And you'll notice, again, they've got another loop here. So if you wanted to have your keys or something in there as well, you could have them in. And if you put bringing them out, you're not going to drop them on the floor because they're going to be held by the pouch. We've got another elasticated strap. And that's just a single one, which goes straight across. And the phone fits nice in there. So that's going to be holding the phone. Let's see what happens. Let's make sure that's not in the way. So your phone's not going to come out easy if you forget to close that. And once this is actually on your, your, your webbing of your pack or on your belt, that's going to be pulling even tighter. So it's going to make that robust, uh, the elasticated strap even stronger. So, so look. So as you saw, it took a fair bit to get it out. Also on the inside, we've got this nice fleecy fill 
protector and it's slightly padded by the feel of it. So it's going to protect your phone and your electronics. And now I'll show you how I attach this to the shoulder strap of my pack. And I'll be using the Velcro straps here. So I'll get all this out the way. So I'm not going to need the, need the molly strap on this. So like I said, we'll bring it through the webbing and then tuck it back under on itself. Now that's out of the way, I'm not going to be using that. Now let's get my pack. So hopefully you can see that, okay. So my other one starts here on the other side, on the other strap. And the tip I will give you is, it's apart from emptying it, is when you're going to fit these straps through, use the loop side first, because then when that's pushed through the back of your molly on here, what you want to do is what I found easiest was I rolled it through and I just pushed it with my finger like that and it went under and fixed quite easy. It was a little bit straighter but let's get it done again. So there's a the Velcro bit so it goes through first and I've pushed that flat and there's the loop part of the Velcro and I'm just going to roll that underneath see on the other side, pull it, push it through and just turn it up. And now I'm going to do the same with this one and then the final one here. Again, again I'll put the loop through first. Use my shoulder strap to push the loop flat and then push the hook through underneath and just roll it on. And again there it is. I can loosen that one a bit more if I want to, just by doing a similar thing. Push my finger underneath the loop, or between the hook and loop, and then just moving it back. And then my final one I'll put through here. Again, putting the loop through first. Getting it flat into place, and then just push the hook through. And with the hook going through afterwards, that can push up against the cordura of the pack because it's not going to stick and it's just going to slide through. Let's adjust it a little bit more. There we go. So now there's that pouch on my shoulder strap. Let's put these back in. And then the other one, let's show you here. Now the last time, excuse me, the last time I went out, I got to a point where I was getting picked up and the phone signal was terrible. So because the person was picking me who had a four wheel drive, the pocket here at the front of this one, I'm using for my handheld two way. And that'd be ideal for emergencies also. So if anything happened to my phone or the EPUB, I've always got this where I can go to the emergency channel. And the aerial sits up the side, just nice, it sticks out. On the inside, I've got my power bank, 
because they're doing so much filming and it's ideal for me charging my phone too. It's a little bit thicker, so it's a little bit more awkward to get in. But yeah, that goes back in there. And it's not much different to the size of the mobile phone. It's just a little bit deeper, but it still fits in that pouch nice. So there it is, the Navtel pouch on my shoulder straps. And they fit just nice. I've still got room, so they're not going to be getting in my way. I'll still get to my strap without messing about with it. I'll still get my water. And that actually sits nice coming through the, the water loop holder up here. And the actual pouch helps hold that in place to stop it flopping around. And I've got easy access again. I can get the emergency whistle out when I want. I can get to this tracker when I want to. Again, with a simple Velcro. I'm going to make a phone call again. I could just grab hold of it and get it out. And get the, to the radio. Or oh, an easy access. I think this is part of the urban range. I don't, it's not their bushcraft range, but they come in really handy. And as you can see, they're multi purpose, aren't they? So, like I said, with the other straps going down, I could wear it across my back here. It also fit on the Molly, on the, uh, the single row of Molly on the back of the Bergen, which is where I did have it at one point. But I'm attempting to move all my weight. Uh, central to my core so this is moved this way from these away from the back or the sides and brought it to the front uh, I've got a couple more pouches I've invested in and I've got two uh, more different pouches on order to spider to um, go with this Bergen bushcraft pack all the other pouches are part of the bushcraft range and I've got them to match this Bergen. I'm going to see how I can actually use them without overfilling the Bergen or repositioning so if I can get any on the straps. So hopefully you'll stay around and watch them in future. So if you're new to my channel and you've enjoyed this video, please go down below and subscribe. Click on the like button, click on the notification bell and click all so you can be notified of all future videos. And if you're already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.